back to a brand new Disney Heroes Batman video. And um, this is what I want to shout out today. Where is the update video? It is coming in a couple of minutes. So I obviously wanted to focus um, on bringing you the update, seeing what it, what's going to happen, seeing what's new. I know there's a couple of new characters coming out. I am quite excited. But I wanted to bring this note as well, always watching. If you're struggling against Slinky or Shields in general, Dash, Shenyu, Rapunzel and Tron are all great counters to Shield. Pooh is also a possibility if you just want to sit there the whole match and hope that Pooh one-shots them last second. That sounds like my kind of plan. <laughs> So, let's take a look and see what we've got. So, I've already discussed Bali in detail with Ethan when I was talking about leaked characters. So, I'm not going to I'm not gonna focus on him too much because we've already seen it. But, yeah, all his moves are... Because I had a look at this. All his moves are the same as what I was discussing in the leaked videos anyway. So, if you do want to check that out, you can check that out on my channel, guys. So, I want to focus on Godmother today. But I do want to just bring out one thing. is I really like the idea of these quests that Barley has to achieve to get certain things. I think that's a very cool little quirk there. So, these are the biggest changes we've got here. Oh, no, 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 no. The leveling, the level rank has gone up again. <sighs> that is madness. So we've gone up by level five levels. Um, Bali will be an event exclusive here in the Colosseum crates. We haven't had one of those in a while. And Balu will enter the elite campaign. So not too bad. That means Bali is going to be relatively difficult to unlock unless you have a lot of Colosseum tokens saved up. But yeah, it's not really good or bad news there really it just means it's going to be another character which is going to be very difficult to obtain so as we scroll through here now we obviously yeah most of it's now just rank changes rank changes rank changes so that's kind of the update it's only a small little update bringing you barley and bringing the yellow and your level increase by five levels pretty decent and then we've got the sign-in character now she looks beaut look at that we have um, Dem Demona, Demora, Demona, Demona, <laughs> I don't know, you guys know I can't read. So, I haven't actually looked at this character at all, but I know she is in, um, Sorcerer's Arena, when I used to play that, and she was relatively good, actually, she was relatively good. Um, so let's see if she stacks up in Disney Heroes here, guys. So, her main special, Grim Readings. She reads the... These, these are just words I don't even want to try and pronounce. She reads her book, dealing a percent of her max HP as damage to herself. Ooh, okay. That's strange. But normally when a character kills himself, they have a move which is going to do them well when they die. So that's a bit of a weird main special, to be honest. When, uh, when she reaches zero HP, and after a few seconds, she is healed and gains energy. She will also gain energy at the start of each wave. The battle ends. The battle ends when she is KO'd, when all of her allies are also KO'd. So this is a bit like Zombie Man in One Punch Man, guys. She can only die when her all of her teammates have died. So this is going to be quite an annoying character here, actually. Because this basically kind of makes her a tank because she's immortal. And she basically feeds off of your teammates the only way she's going to die is if all of her teammates are dead so with this being i am not looking for <laughs> i am not looking forward to this character this she sounds absolutely awesome um and they do do a good job of bringing out new characters somehow there's so many characters in this game they need to chill i want to you know i want time to level people up here so so basically she can't die unless all of her team's dead and consider she's at She's a damage character who's midline. So, hmm. She's not at the front of the team. So, she's not going to be taking huge damage, huge hits, or anything at the front of the team. Uh, so, but she will keep your healers safe because basically people are going to have to kill her to get to the healers. So, that's pretty decent. Um, now, that piercing beam. At the start of each wave, she scares all enemies and then fires her particle beam at the closest enemy, dealing a percent of their max. HP as damage so that's quite nice because at the start of the wave they're scared 
and she's gonna hit someone and sap them. So, hmm, that is quite scary. <laughs> she's she's um turning into quite a decent character here, guys. Then we've got um after she revives X amount of time, she gets a bazooka. What? That causes a text. So, I don't know if that means that you need to level up to bring it down, or they just haven't decided yet, but that's ridiculous. So, if you just heal a few times, she's going to pull out a bazooka and basically just, boom, rinse everybody down, which is relatively mental, to, to be honest with you. Then we've got our red skill here. She deals damage equal to a percent of her max HP to herself and, and enemies with her basic attack. When she reaches zero, she applies stacks of weakness to enemies that damaged her last. We oh, this is mad. Enemies with weakness take 10% more damage per stack. 50% more damage. 50% more damage. That's not on. I don't know if they... Are they going to tell us her friendship missions? No, they're not. They're just saying who it's with. All right, let's see, because if I go on to whack 2... We should be able to see. Um, we should be able to see here. There she is. What her friendship discs are. Yeah. So, her one with Evil Queen. Nah, that's ridiculous. You, what you've got to do is look at this, right? And at the start of each wave, she scares everybody. So, she's going to have... Uh, she's going to have like 5 million more damage off scared enemies. And then attack speed goes up per sap. And at the start of each wave, she saps someone as well. So that one straight off the bat is unreal. Because what would be nice there? Hmm. I'm not, actually, I'm not too sure what the best combination would be there. We've got basic damage per scared enemy. Because then you just need to form... I mean, if you were to put her onto a sap team, or a scare team, she's going to be doing some serious damage, guys. And then we've got Goliath here. Use Piercing Beam when revived. After she's revived, she immediately uses Piercing Beam, then applies three stacks of weakness that last eight seconds to the enemy down to a Piercing Beam. That's pretty decent. Then we've got skill power increase and we've got basic damage increase as well. That's quite nice because what we're seeing there is that does basic damage to allies as well. So that's very, very good there. I really like the looks of that move. So yeah, she is a fantastic character, guys. And we've got some changes. Rocketeer will be in VIP crates. Ham will be in the guild crate, lovely. Amelia will be in City Watch. Syndrome will be in Surge. Linguini will be in Arena Shop. Kermit will be in the Colosseum Shop. Honey Lemon will be in Heist. And Wasabi in the Guild War Shop. Very, very nice there, guys. So, it's quite a nice update. You know, I always like to cover the updates. I always like to get your guys' opinions. I think Demora looks fantastic. She's going to be ridiculously overpowered. I cannot wait to jump on and try her out, guys. I will do my um, a couple of nerf episodes on the characters, as I always like to do. But yeah, I'm, I'm quite excited to see what she's going to be like. And I'm also quite worried because she seems absolutely bonkers as a character. So I am I am worried that um, that she's going to just be an absolute team stopper. But yeah, at the same time, it brings a new challenge, new characters we have to overcome and face. So it's quite exciting at the same time, guys. So please do comment down below and let me know what you think. And also, guys, um, I feel like switching up um, and doing <clears throat> another game. You know, so I do Disney one day and I do another game another day. And I'm curious what you guys think I should play. Comment down below and let me know. And, you know, I'm taking it into consideration of any game here, any game at all. So let me know, and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one.